Welcome back to the Enticing Media YouTube channel where we help you creators, business owners, entrepreneurs over the age of 40 feel like content creation is a little less stressful and less overwhelming. So if you are overwhelmed by content creation, you are in the right place. Today, I am sharing my go-to content creation software stack that makes content creation a lot easier and way less stressful for sure. So everything from planning to recording to editing to promoting and posting, all the things. So these are my favorite tools. And yes, I may even include a couple of affiliate links. So if you happen to click one of those in the description in the show notes below, show notes like this is a podcast. What, what am I doing here? No. These are just YouTube videos. So if you happen to click one of those links, I may or may not earn a very small commission. So why don't we get into it? Keep this short and sweet. So let's talk about planning your content. Planning is something that will help you greatly reduce stress. And uh, we want to do that ahead of time. And I will tell you that chat GPT is my secret weapon when it comes to planning. So you can actually create your own custom GPTs to script out videos, to write podcast outlines, um, give you SEO friendly titles for YouTube, what have you, you can ask it to do everything for you. And that is the one place that I go to, to help me organize my thoughts. It'll even put together outlines for you. So definitely recommend ChatGPT. Next, we want to make sure we are recording all of this video and audio with the highest quality possible. So for podcasts and interviews and even a video like this, I absolutely love Riverside.fm. That is one of my affiliate links. I love Riverside and it's so, you can actually do end to end producing with Riverside. You can record, you can clip, you can edit everything in Riverside. It is absolutely amazing. So that is number one for recording as well. I also love Descript or Descript. I don't know how I've heard both ways. I don't know. Somebody tell me what the right way is to say it. Anyway, you can actually text edit. That's right. You can edit with text through Descript. So every time you upload a file, it automatically transcribes for you and you can filter out the ums, the uhs, and anything else that you don't want through text, which is pretty cool. So if you're a visual written editor, um, that's not something that I necessarily always do, but Descript also has many other amazing options for repurposing content. So definitely check out Descript. And while we're talking about editing, that's the next portion of the platforms that I am promoting today. You can, like I said, edit in Descript. I happen to be a Final Cut Pro user. I've been Final Cut Pro pretty much since day one. And iMovie before that, I know there's Filmora, there's DaVinci Resolve, those are a couple of free platforms. There's also Adobe Premiere Plus and some other super professional ones that like Hollywood film studios are using. So Final Cut Pro is very, I think, intuitive as far as where to go to find things. And I just absolutely love it. It allows me to continue to control the editing process, which, <laughs> If you ask my husband, I, I really love control. So anyway, Final Cut is my go-to and that is just an Apple product. So if you are a Mac user, you're in luck. If you're not, then I would definitely recommend Adobe Premiere Pro. Such a powerful editing tool. So next, once we've gotten our content planned and it has been recorded and it has been edited, we need to think about how we're going to promote it. I know a lot of creators and business owners struggle in this space. So one thing that really makes it easy is Canva. Canva, I know it's super popular, people love it. Canva is my go-to for creating promotional graphics for anything, social media, for podcasts, thumbnails for YouTube, Instagram, real covers. Anything you want to do, you can do it in Canva. You can even do a proposal if you want to there. And uh, they're continuously upgrading, which is awesome. So definitely check out Canva. I absolutely love it. So, all right, promoting that actual content or 
uploading, I should say, uploading, sharing, promoting, whatever you want to call it. It really is all promoting. You're putting it out there and you are promoting what you have worked so very hard on. So my first go-to is obviously YouTube. So YouTube is the video platform. It is the second largest search engine to Google in the entire world. There are 2.5 billion, yes, I said billion monthly YouTube users. So if you are doing video, make sure that you are absolutely using YouTube and yes, use it for your podcast. I mean, my gosh, like just get on board with YouTube. So next I use it for my podcast. I just started using captivate.fm. I've used several other platforms before, and quite honestly, I think captivate.fm offers the best amount of value for what you are doing. So with Captivate, not only can you upload your episodes and everything associated, like your titles and show notes and links and things like that, there are marketing tools available for you as well. And you can even search courses and there's lots of education there and monetization options as well for your podcast. So it is a one-stop shop for podcast content. So I love Captivate and uh, I would highly recommend it to anybody that's doing podcasts. Last but certainly not least, we want to promote on social media. Am I right? I think I'm right. So Metricool is actually what I use to promote my work on social media. Metricool is a social media scheduler and it is, has honestly been a godsend. And that is my other affiliate link in the description to this video. So definitely check it out. I absolutely love it. And I can schedule so many Facebook posts reels, stories, Instagram posts and reels and stories, and YouTube. You can do LinkedIn, you can do Twitch, Pinterest, Blue Sky, Twitter, or X, whatever we're calling it these days. You can do so much. I think even Google business too. So you can upload and schedule, and yes, you can even create captions using their AI tool that's built into the planner. So check out Metricool. Like I said, if you've got multiple accounts, or if you just want to be able to schedule your social media, definitely check out Metricool. Okay, there you have it. That is basically my full content creation toolkit for any of us over 40, any of us business owners, entrepreneurs, or creators over the age of 40 that are struggling a little bit to cap to captivate. <laughs> Look at that. I'm just selling, selling, selling. So any of us that are struggling to create all of this content and get on board and we're not, we weren't raised like Gen Z with phones in our hands. So this I hope will help you get at least started on your journey or help you think about other ways to continue your journey. So if you found this helpful, please give this video a like, share it with a friend, subscribe to the channel because there will be lots more content like this coming up. And if enticing media can help you get started on your content journey or continue you on your content journey, let us know, send us a message, send us an email and uh, comment in the description below. What other content tools have you used that you find really helpful? So let us know what you love to see as well, and we'll create that content tailored for you. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.